What is up, obscure tech people? It's Bart coming at you yet again, adjusting my microphone. If you've watched this channel a little bit before, you might know that I really like webcams. I'm really not a camera person. Uh, to me, I'd rather just like set it, forget it, go. And a uh, little tidbit of information, all my videos on this channel and obscure mics are filmed, filmed, recorded with an Insta360. That's what it's called, right? I think so. A great camera. I'm very happy with the image quality I get out of it for my channels. Now I do do a little bit of post. I darken things up, you know, smooth things out a little bit. But for the most part, I could do that in a camera. I just kind of prefer to do it in post because I get the results I want in a preset just that quick. And uh, when I go live streaming, I don't like that look for live streaming. I like a little more you know, bright and airy finish, I guess you could say, but a company caught my eye and it was goose goo. I don't know if that's like slang for goose shit or what, but goose goo G 940, a 1080 P webcam, 30 frames per second. It's actually 1440 P I'm sorry. But what really caught my eye was this was half off at Amazon the other day. And it has a light built in, and the reviews were pretty good. And anytime I see a camera like this, as cheap as I got it, and the reviews are good, I have to check it out. Now, tax and all, I paid 30 bucks for this. Currently, it's $29.99, 40% off with a $5 coupon. So you're going to be under 30 tax and all on this, as opposed to me overpaying for this. But that's fine. Let's get the camera on it, unbox it, hook it up, see what we got in comparison to the Insta360. I'm not going to adjust the footage in post this time. This is just the camera, not exactly default, but it's close to default. Not much touching up and we're going to see what we get out of this. All right. Now for the sake of knowing I'm using an Ozbot meat for the overhead shot here, we're going to open it from the bottom. I hate the stickers they put on these things. It's not like I'm going to put it back in the box. Boom. Goose goose or goose goo documentation hip hop hooray ho hey ho there's the goose goo camera we got a fixed cable so we can't remove that which is fine we've got uh pretty decent this is a pretty decent mount Oh, we do have a USB A to C adapter. That's convenient. Thanks, Goose Goo. Now, the camera itself, I've got to admit, it feels pretty cheap. Doesn't feel very good at all. I'm guess. Oh, what, what's happening here? Is that supposed to be coming out? This just popped out of the end. That doesn't inspire confidence at all. There's our light the press okay and that also is a privacy cover i'm not sure do i really do we have to have the light on is that a thing that's curious but overall like this does have a metal shell but it feels very very hollow inside like super duper hollow it does not feel great but again we paid 25 30 bucks for it it's 1440p we're going to wire it up. We're going to hook it up. We're going to see if this is something you could use for YouTube or conferencing or what is this good for? I did discover we have a power button on top of the light. So the light is able to be turned on and off. There it is on. Let's switch over. You know, it's not that bad. It's a very wide angle. The colors are pretty bright. Maybe if I turn that off, I'm a little pinkish. I definitely don't look natural. You're definitely seeing my messy studio. I don't know. I mean, not completely terrible. It's a little fuzzy. And normally my lighting setup is enough for my Insta360. So obviously this is not Insta360 level <laughs> um, quality, but it's not super bad. And that light does help maybe a little. Let's turn it off. 
maybe it doesn't help a little. Maybe it doesn't help at all. Eh, not really. Guy look super odd. A little washy. That is grainy. Um, I'm sure, let's see what we can adjust here. I'm going to go into some color correction and OBS. Um, we got some defaults here. We can, we can, we can saturate, we can saturate it up a little. I just don't know if anything black and white's good. <sighs> I am supposing if this was a better lit area, we might be in better shape. Let's see color correction. I'm not real sure. Well, let's go into sharpen and see if we can sharpen this image up a little. It gets grainy no matter what you do really. And again, that's probably more to do with the lighting it's not super well lit in this studio but i did expect a little better from the goose goo again 25 bucks or so probably not the worst quality it's probably okay i've had worse this could be usable in a pinch let's try it in a well-lit space all right so this is the microphone of the camera and this is the camera in a less well a slightly more lit area in my home and we'll switch over to a higher lit area in just a moment this is probably the best lit space in the house actually the camera looks much better than it did in the dimmer lit studio so if you're going to use it inside of a well lit space i think it works pretty well for the price the camera is also using the microphone so the microphone you're hearing is the one built into the camera as well at the end of the day, I don't think it's necessarily bad. You get what you pay for when you're spending like 20, 25 ish bucks, but it did look better in good lighting conditions better, but I don't know. It just depends on what you need a camera for. I wouldn't be using this to do YouTube videos anytime soon, unless it was in a well lit room. The light that pops out on the side is more gimmicky than helpful. In my opinion, it's just not really producing enough light. Uh, the image quality again in a well lit setting, this is the problem with most webcams. It was just fine. Um, but the Insta 360s and Ozbots of the world, I haven't tried the tiny or tiny two, but I can tell through videos that those are kind of where it's at when it comes to low light webcam video recording for YouTube and, and no cheap webcam is really going to compare, but it doesn't mean that you can't get use out of it. Like I said, if it was all I had in a well-lit room, I would do it. I, I would use it for YouTube, but it is definitely worth it, in my opinion, to go for the Insta360 if you're serious about your content creation and you don't like cameras like me, like just not a fan of the lenses, not a fan of all the workarounds you got to do to get things wired up into your monitors and this and that. Like it's just, uh, it's a little too much for how lazy I am with my video making. Full transparency, no cap as they say. Goose Goo's out of here. Goose Goo. Links in the description down below. If you thought it was good enough to do something you want to do with it, have at it. It kicks me back a few pennies and I appreciate it. Amazon affiliate links. Obscure Tech. See you guys next time. Peace out.